Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about deciles of ungrouped data and this is under measures of position or the quantile. So deciles are the score points which divide a distribution into 10 equal parts. These score points are denoted as d sub 1 or the first decile, d sub 2 or, or the second decile, d sub 3 or the third decile, d sub 4 or the fourth decile, d sub 5 or the fifth decile, d sub 6 or sixth decile, d sub 7 or seventh decile, d sub 8 and d sub 9 or the ninth decile. Between d sub 2 and d sub 3, that is d sub 2.5. So that is equal to q sub 1. So d sub 5 is also the median or the q sub 2 or the second quartile. Between d sub 7 and d sub 8, that is d sub 7.5, that is equal to q sub 3 or the third quartile. Since these score points, Divide the distribution into 10 equal parts if we are going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 parts and each part contains 10% of the distribution. If we are going to analyze the data, 10% of the distribution is less than or equal to d sub 1. So 90% is greater than or equal to d sub 1. For d sub 2, 20% is less than or equal to d sub 2. So 80% is greater than or equal to d sub 2. Let's say d sub 6. 60% is less than or equal to d sub 6 and 40% is greater than or equal to d sub 6. For example, d sub 9. For d sub 9, 90% is less than or equal to d sub 9. So 10% is greater than or equal to d sub 9. Let us have example number 1. The following are scores of 10 students in their 40-item quiz. So 34, 23, 15, 27, 36, 21, 20, 13, and 33. Calculate 7th decile and 3rd decile. Please remember that the first step is to arrange the scores in ascending order from least to greatest. So now let us arrange. So we have 13, 15, 20, 21, 23, 27, 33, 34, and 36. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 9 scores. N is equal to 9. So now let's calculate the 7th decile. So the formula in getting the location of 7th decile is d sub k for constant whatever you are going to find that is k times n plus 1 all over 10. Since decile, we divide the distribution into 10 equal parts. So now... Substitute the formula, the value of the formula. So k is 7 since we are solving for the 7th decile. So k is equal to 7 since that is d sub 7. 7 times n is 9. So since we have 9 data or observation, 9 plus 1 divided by 10. So that is equal to 9 plus 1, that is 10, times 7, so that is 70, divided by 10, that is equal to 7 value. 
So what is the seventh value? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So meaning, D sub 7 is equal to 33. So if we are going to interpret, 70% of the scores is less than or equal to 33. Now, let's calculate third decile. So again, the formula in finding the location of the decile is d sub k is equal to the quantity of n plus 1 times k divided by 10. Let's say we are solving for the third decile, that is d sub 3. So k is equal to 3. So now, let's solve. That is equal to k is equal to 3 since we are solving for d sub 3. 3 times n is equal to 9 plus 1 divided by 10. So 9 plus 1, that is equal to 10 times 3, that is 30 divided by 10. So now the location is 3 or that is the third value. The third value is 1, 2, 3. That is equal to 20. So d sub 3 is equal to 20. If we are going to interpret this score, meaning 30% of the data distribution is less than or equal to 20. So 30%. So let us have example number 2. The scores of Miss Universe candidates from 7 judges were recorded as 8.85, 9.17, 8.45, 9.20, 8.56, 9.13, 8.67. Calculate 6 decile using linear interpolation. Again, the first step is to arrange the data observation in ascending order or from least to greatest. The first number is 8.45 The next one is 8.56 Next is 8.67 Next is 8.85 Next is 9.13 Next is 9.17 And the last one is 9.20 If we count the data, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 So we have 7 scores So n is equal to 7. To calculate the 6th decile, first, we need to solve the location. So the formula for the location of the decile is d sub k is equal to k times n plus 1 all over 10. k is the value that you want to solve. So 6 decile, therefore, this is d sub 6, k is equal to 6 times the quantity of n plus 1. n is equal to 7, therefore, this is 7 plus 1 divided by 10. So 7 plus 1, that is 8, times 6, that is 48 divided by 10. 48 divided by 10, that is 4.8. It means the value is between 4th and 5th value. So this is between 
So it is between 8.85 and 9.13 since fourth value is 8.85, fifth value is 9.13. So the value that we are going to find is between these numbers using linear interpolation. So again, linear interpolation, the exact value including the decimals. So even if the scores are not present in here, so we are going to find the exact value using linear interpolation. So now, let's separate the whole number to decimal since this is the location. So, that is equal to fourth value since the whole number is 4. Then, plus the decimal 0 0.8 times the difference of the fifth and fourth value. So, fifth value is 9.13 minus fourth value is 8.85 times 0 0.8 plus the fourth value is 8.85. So, 9.13 minus 8.85 that is equal to 0 0.85. 28 times 0 0.8 so you can use your calculator any calculator so that is equal to 0 0.224 so add 8.85 so 8.85 plus 0 0.8 224, that is equal to 9.074 or 9.07. Therefore, D sub 6 is 9.07. It means 60% of the data or scores of the candidates is less than or equal to 9.07. For item number 3, the 7th decile of a data set is the 49th data value. How many data values are there in data set? So again, the formula for decile is D sub K is equal to K times N plus 1 all over 10. So according to the given, D sub K is the 7th decile, meaning that is D sub 7. Equal to, of course, K is 7, so 7 times N plus 1 all over 10. So again, from the given, 7th decile is 49th data value. So D sub 7 is 49 equal to 7 times n quantity n plus 1 all over 10. So now we're going to solve for n, the number of data values. So let's solve. First, multiply both sides by 10. So for 10, 49 is equal to 7 times the quantity of n plus 1 all over 10 times 10. So 10 cancel, 10 times 49, that is 490. Equal to 7 the quantity times the quantity of n plus 1. So we can divide both sides by 7 to eliminate 7 at the right side since we need to find n only or the number of terms divide both side by 7 so 490 divided by 7 that is 70 equal to n plus 1 since 7 divided by 7 is 1 so now 
this is linear equation in one variable. So solve for n. So we have to subtract both sides by 1. So minus 1 minus 1. So therefore, n is equal to 69. So we have 69 data values in data set. That's it guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned from my video. And if you learn, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell na all for you to be updated in my latest video. Thank you. Bye.